In tonight's business, we hear that the Central Bank of Barbados and the Financial Services Commission, or FSC, have issued some guidelines to commercial banks, credit unions, and other financial institutions as the majority of them prepare to reopen to the public on a limited basis from tomorrow. Among the measures, the financial institutions must strictly adhere to the surname system to permit entry on given days. As it relates to security, the central bank and FSC have also advised that in cases where customers are wearing masks or facial covering, such customers must temporarily reveal their full face on entry to the institution and when they approach the customer agent for the purposes of security and customer identification. Meanwhile, banks and credit unions have also been urged to take the opportunity during this period to encourage their customers to sign up for ATM cards and or internet banking wherever feasible. President of the Barbados Bankers Association, Donna Wellington, says the banks have agreed that the following services will be offered by all banks. Cash deposits over ABM limits, check cashing, ABM or debit card signups, internet banking signups and signups for night depository or collection of bags. Well, let's take a look now at how the stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region. First up in Jamaica, Trans Jamaican Highway Limited was the volume leader with 11,694,311 units at $1.38 each. And they were followed by Pulse Investments Limited and Wigton Wind Farm Limited Ordinary Shares. In Trinidad and Tobago, JM Embi Group Limited was the volume leader with 43,798 shares changing hands for a value of $118,326.52 and they were followed by Trinidad and Tobago NGL Limited and Trinidad Cement Limited. And in Barbados, there was no trading again today as operations at the exchange have been suspended until April 14th.